Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Frontier Days Parade 2017. My name is Bruce Binkowski. I'm the events coordinator for Jefferson County and thrilled to be uh, part of the broadcast team. And joining me is Jody Cargill. Jody, you've been doing this, what, three, four years now? I think this is my fourth year. I'm not really sure. Anybody know? Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> no, not really. Well, well I'm back again. Well, there's a great crowd. We've got uh, we're right right here on the main drag, and I see uh, the parade has started to come down. And as soon as uh, they get closer, we'll begin the introductions and tell you everybody who's going to be involved in the parade. Uh, also, if you notice, we've got some baskets out there, some three-on-three -three outdoor baskets now that are, are part of Frontier Days, and that's going to make a, a lot of fun for a lot of kids. Make sure that all your little kiddos who have their bags get their bags ready. I heard there is candy. I'm really hoping they stop by here as well. Smokey, I'll be hitting up Smokey for some free chocolate. You know that's going to happen. Um, yep. So part of the uh, Frontier Days, uh, we got to remember now, let's see, uh, today is Saturday. So, Jody, what do we got going on all day today? Well, it looks like uh, we had the fireman's breakfast this morning. That, oh, that's probably about closed up by now. We have a horseshoe tournament going on. And you guys are all checking out the vendors. I kind of did a walk through there this morning. looks like we have some great stuff. Uh, mm, oh, hey, wait, from 8.30 to 3, we have barrel races at the rodeo grounds. And then there is a rod run at the west end of Legion. And in so in the old Borden's building over here in the conference room, there is a fine art show. And we'd like to thank our futurity sponsors, Split Diamond Ranch and the Barrick Golden Sunlight. And all the vendors, we have, I think they sold out the vendors this year. Mm -hmm. So we'd like to thank all of the vendors for participating. And all of you who are out there walking around, we have a great crowd. Please make sure you, you stop by, see the vendors, and participate. Because without these vendors, we couldn't be doing what we're doing today. Definitely. Make sure that from noon to 5, so basically right after the parade, uh, you hit up Music on Legion by the, by the Pavilion. And from noon to 6, there is a beer garden downtown as well. Starting at noon, it looks like, is the Chamber Barbecue. The basketball hoops that Bruce talked about earlier will be open until 6 p.m., which is fantastic. So all you little, little basketball kids, get out there and enjoy some three-on-three -three or just shoot some hoops. It looks like they've been used since they've been put up, so that's nice to see. And we also have, gosh, we've got the Museum Gab Fest from noon to 4. We've got the Kids Tractor Pull at 1 o'clock. Historic tours at 1, 3, and 5. Crafts at the library from 1 to 4. There's all sorts of things going on. And the dodgeball tournament, you ever participated in that? No, I like my face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another thing that I think is new this year is they're doing a little Whitehall version of Amazing Race. I pretty much only know this because I helped them set it up this morning, but there is a fantastic prize. Uh, if I read the rules correctly, you have to be teams of four going around the town, so you'll definitely have to check that out. It starts at 12.30. Down there, kind of out from the Star Theater, you'll see the big old thing. I wrote the start and finish. It's real big, so you can't miss it. Now, the parade has begun. If you look past down the street, you can see them slowly making their way. And the uh, first entrant will be the Whitehall Volunteer Fire Department, and who, by the way, are the Grand Marshal of uh, our Montana's Treasures Parade. So they are slowly making their way down. And uh, they'll be here really soon. So stand by. The parade will officially begin in just a few moments. And as you can see on camera, uh, for those of you at home watching, uh, the, the youngsters are shooting at the three-on-three -three basketball hoops. And uh, the will, parade will pass right by them, right down the main drag. Yep. Uh, one last thing that you definitely want to make sure that you make time for this evening is Bronx and Barrels. As has been going on for the last few years, we have a world-class Bucking Horse Association uh, sponsored Bronx and Barrels. That starts at 7 p.m. tonight over at the Rodeo Grounds. Once you get done with that, come over and enjoy a cold beverage and some dancing over at the Street Dance on Division Street. So Frontier Days has been uh, quite an effort by the uh, Whitehall Chamber of Commerce. And, uh, uh, Jody, there's a lot of people that we should be able to thank, but I guess we should start with Casey. Casey has been a, a driving force. You've got a ton of volunteers. A lot of people get involved and work all year round just to prepare for this weekend. Oh, most definitely. I, I don't know where Casey is, but Casey is the heartbeat of the the Frontier Days, at least at this point in time. She is efficient, organized. She keeps everybody around her on their toes. If you see Casey or anybody that you know that had anything to do with Frontier Days, getting it set up, helping tear down, just, just thank them. Because really, this is a community-wide event that's probably put on by 
just a few people. And these kind of events, you got to understand, these kind of events take scores and scores of people, volunteers, working on their own time to make it happen. And when you see things like the street closures and the basketball hoops and the organization of the parade and the vendors and all the things that take place, the dances, the dodgeball, the, all the things, all done volunteers. And, and mm -hmm. they couldn't do it without it. And it's so, such a great thing for the uh, Whitehall uh, community, for the uh, economic impact for the community, and for Jefferson County itself. Oh, definitely. And I think everybody can attest to the fact that realistically, for the last three or four years that I've been participating in actually in Frontier Days, I think it's really grown quite a bit just with the activities that are available. I mean, the basketball hoops are a wonderful new addition. Bruce wouldn't tell you that him and Casey basically spearheaded getting those basketball hoops here for us to use. And I think they're sticking around, aren't they? They are sticking around. Uh, the entire county, uh, Whitehall and all over the county can use the basketball hoops anytime they like and all we have to do is coordinate it through the county and if you want to do a three-on-three -three basketball tournament i've already had some people talk to me about it for the whitehall area uh, the hoops are ready to go and it's so much fun playing basketball outside it's it's one thing to play inside in a gym which is awesome but to be outside in the wind and the rain and, mm -hmm. the, and all the things that can happen it makes basketball a lot of fun but today beautiful day perfect day for basketball perfect day for a parade perfect day for frontier days oh it it's perfect the weather's perfect we couldn't ask for anything better and i do have to admit i'm really surprised like the kids have not stopped playing on those basketball hoops like i never thought they'd be used that much uh, well no I, I know they will be and they will constantly be used and i'm also impressed with the crowd there is a great crowd here today mm -hmm. on both sides of the street to, to watch the parade and to participate and i think it's awesome for the vendors and, and awesome for the community so uh, frontier days looks like it's a huge success and um I'm very happy to be part of it, representing Jefferson County. Oh, we're happy that you came down. <laughs> maybe we'll see you next year. Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> well, coming down the street is uh, Frontier Days honoring the Whitehall Volunteer Fire Department. They're the Grand Marshal of the parade, and uh, as soon as they get a little bit closer, we're going to tell you all about them and all of the entrants of today's Frontier Days parade. And like uh, Jody was mentioning, there's a ton of things going on uh, all all day and into the evening so uh just make sure that you participate as much as you can and just have a good time yeah and you know the worst part about sitting up here bruce i what? can smell all that oh, food yeah. right at us so oh, as soon as yeah. we're out of here and i'm telling you there's some great food down there and there's i'm not we, we can't single anybody <laughs> out but Jody's already pointed out one place that she says we have to try. So yep. we will try all of the food vendors before we leave today. Then we probably will. I've been saving up all week to eat everything this weekend. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> and, uh, all right. Well, we're getting closer now. As you look down the street, you can see the parade is slowly making its way uh, towards our booth. And, of course, uh, for, by the way, this parade is televised locally. Yes. And uh, so people at home that can't be out here are able to watch the parade on television. They absolutely are. And just so that everybody is aware, the parade is only going one direction this year. It will not be returning um, down Legion Street. It's actually going to be turning off at, I think it's Lincoln, down across from the bank sign down here. So your one opportunity to get to see, take pictures, get all the candy, is going to be going in this direction. All right, let's see what else. What, Jody, what else do we have going on here on Frontier Days? There's so much. Uh, we can just um, keep, keep hitting you up. Oh, by the way, this morning, and it's over now, but there was a baseball day camp, oh, yeah. and that was a lot of fun for the kids. The horseshoe tournament started very early this morning at 7 o'clock. You mentioned the fireman's breakfast. So this day began at 6.30 this morning and will continue until, what, close to midnight tonight. Oh, at least midnight. With everything. So Be it's, real, Bruce. Party it up. It is a, <laughs> it is a full <laughs> Full, full, and not at my age. Yeah, oh, I come can't, on. Uh, Live on the wild side. All right. Um, if you guys are also looking for any more information, you can find it on the Whitehall Chamber Facebook page. Uh, join the event, Whitehall Frontier Days 2017, for event info, any updates or changes that may happen, and check out all the pictures. I'm not sure if you can upload your own, but, hey, why not try and tag them at least and see what happens. And those of you watching on television, you can see that the parade is just about near the uh, basketball hoops, so the kids are going to have to step aside for the, uh, for the parade to begin. But I think we can start by reminding everybody that the Frontier Days honors the Whitehall Volunteer Fire Department. They are the Grand Marshal of the Montana's Treasures Parade. And 
you've got to point out that not only the Whitehall Volunteer Fire Department, but volunteer fire departments throughout Jefferson County and the state of Montana do such an amazing job uh, protecting property and life. Mm -hmm. And so it, it is great that the Whitehall Volunteer Fire Department is the Grand Marshal of our parade today. Oh, definitely. They, If anybody deserves it, it certainly is them. And it's kind of an interesting fact that actually this week uh, the, fi the fire department had to come up right by our house. We had a fire go on. And their response time, we don't live in town, we don't live anywhere close to town, but they were there lickety split, and I mean, everybody was just like, what do you need? Let's get you taken care of. Uh, what a wonderful group of guys that probably had to get out of bed after they had already worked a long, hot day and got up to our house as soon as they could. It was just, it was so wonderful to see, and really, we can't thank them enough for protecting our community and all of our families. And especially now during fire season especially. Oh, so uh, what do you think, Jody? Shall we begin the, the uh, telling you about the uh, Whitehall Volunteer Fire Department? Let's do it. All right. So this year, Frontier Days honors the Whitehall Volunteer Fire Department as the Grand Marshal of the Montana Treasures Parade. The Whitehall Chamber and the entire community are proud to have this organization recognized for their selfless leadership and contribution to the town of Whitehall. Volunteers participate in two local trainings a month, and have opportunities to train outside of the Whitehall Fire Hall. The organization also participates in Structure Firefighter 1 class and a Basic Wildland class every couple of years. The roster of 17 members and three retirees must train on many different tactics for calls ranging from structure and vehicle fires, wildland fires, all the way to hazmat and gas or odor calls. Over the last three years, the department has averaged 125 calls per year that covered the gamut of this variety. As are all volunteer organizations, the Whitehall Fire Department is in need of your help. The more volunteers there are in the community, the greater coverage is offered. Volunteers that give 30 hours per year for 10 years are invested in a retirement with the state of Montana. Beyond this, however, the volunteer experience is extremely rewarding. Please reach out to the Whitehall Volunteer Fire Department to learn more about your volunteer opportunities. And it is a great opportunity for anyone interested in being a volunteer firefighter. I'm sure they'd be interested in talking to you. All right, now we're going to ask for the truck to stop briefly here. And they're going to stop right here. We're going to ask for everyone to please rise and remove your caps. And let's kick off the parade. And let's all enjoy our national anthem. All right, a great way to kick off the Frontier Days Parade with our national anthem and our Grand Marshals, the Whitehall Volunteer Fire Department. Thanks, guys. Okay. All right. Now, today the flags are being carried by the Montana Stampede Riders. The Montana Stampede Riders are Southwest Montana's premier precision-mounted drill team, and they're located in Belgrade. We are a co-ed group of experienced riders from all walks of life. The love of horses and the art of mounted drill brings the diverse group together, 
and the group of volunteer riders puts in countless hours of dedication to bring mounted entertainment reminiscent of the Wild West shows of yesterday. The Gallatin Twisters are a 4-H drill team. Thanks for coming all the way over, guys. All right. Looks like we have coming up next the Baghdad Shriners. Uh, Janizary Patrol and Scooby Doo is here from Butte. Where's Scooby Doo? Yeah, Scooby Doo. Lo where is Scooby Doo? Scooby. I don't know. He's around here somewhere. I got a feeling. All right. Yep. Class of '77. Now, is this the class of '77 right here? Are you the? Cl there they are, the class of 1977. Oh, the Shriners didn't. The 40th reunion. Oh, are you guys old? <laughs> <laughs> the class of 77 will host a reunion dinner for classmates at the senior center beginning at 7 tonight. Congratulations, guys. You made it. 40 years later, you're still alive and kicking. Congratulations. All right. Next, we have Wagner Nursery and Landscaping. It's a family-owned nursery and landscaping business in Montana with more than 30 years of experience and roots that go three generations deep. You can visit nurseries at their either Butte or Belgrade locations. Uh, we've bought lots of plants from Wagner's, and they've all turned out to be beautiful and long-lasting. And look at those beautiful plants. They did a lot of work, a lot of hard work getting that float prepared. Uh, now, do it again. Yeah. Woo! Okay, now this catch. year, Mason Kravick is driving the tractor that pulls the load of pedal tractors. They'll park this rig on Legion following the parade where all the Whitehall kids can participate in the tractor pull we talked about this afternoon. Yep, from we'll 12 to 4. Look for them four. in front of the Borden's Hotel. And thanks to Don Kravick and Mike Hagan for putting this very special event on for Whitehall's young farmers and ranchers. That's always a great time to go watch. Like, it's hysterical. All right. Is that the search and rescue? All right. Do we have, This is the search and rescue, correct? Yep. Yes, there all right, they there are. are. Jefferson Valley Search and Rescue has two entries in the parade this year. Leading the truck and trailer is their new mounted unit. Oh, that's neat. Cool. The unit was added to help the, in their searches. Horses can go where four-wheelers four can't. They have a keen sense of sight and smell, and the riders have a great advantage of sight due to elevation on horseback and increased speed, as horses do travel faster than guys on foot. Uh, also, the volunteer organization that exists to assist the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office in the performance of the search and rescue missions. We'd like to wish a special thank you to all these volunteers. So that's their that's their uh, truck and trailer. Yep, there it is right yep. there. All right, coming up is uh, Cliff's Automotive and Service Center. Cliff, Nancy, and the crew would like to say thank you for an amazing 13 years. And we can't wait to see what the next 13 years will bring. They are a full-service shop that does an inspection from top to bottom, from one end to the other. And they want to keep their customers safe and their first priority. So call or bring your car in with any questions. Here's to a lot more years. Thanks from uh, Cliff and Nancy Edsall and the crew from Cliff's Automotive and Service Center. We are lucky to have a quick team like that around here. I know more than once I've called and been like, dude, my tire's flat and I need it in like an hour. And they've always got me back on the road super quickly. Hi, bud. <laughs> All right, coming up next, we have the Christensen School of Dance. Christensen School of Dance is directed by Alyssa Christensen. She's around here somewhere. They offer ballet, tap, jazz, tumbling, and Zumba. All you ladies out there, get your Zumba on. I've done it once. It was really hard, but you should go. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to sign up for fall classes starting in September. Call or text. Get your, get your pens out. 210 and like it on Facebook, Christensen School of Dance. Oh, hey, they're dancing hey, for and us. They are dancing. And for those of you watching at home, you can watch them dance. And, of course, along the parade route, you can also see the Christensen School of Dance dancing. Cuties. They're doing pretty good. All right. They're more coordinated than I am. All right, gang, good job doing the dancing, and good job for those of you sitting in the back of the truck there not dancing. Good job. But you're tossing like out seat. some great candy. <laughs> Can you throw some up here? Pitch it up here. All right. Good oh, job. yeah, good job. Ooh, somebody has a good arm. All right, next up is the Whitehall Garden Club. 
They are a Montana treasure, members dressed as miners and prospectors gold panning amidst flowers and mining tools. And we try to help beautify our community and help with community projects. And you ladies do a fine job. Thanks for the great job from the Whitehall Garden Club. I can't say it's just the ladies. There is no. some fellas on there, too. You there know. are. <laughs> you hit the mother load. <laughs> Bring that over here. I better look at it. <laughs> it's real. And tested it for us. Thanks from the Whitehall Garden Club. Good job, gang. <laughs> All right. Coming up next, we have the Tomahawk Ranch. It's a family-owned and operated cow-calf ranch located north of Whitehall. Looks like Doug is driving his Jeep. This is kind of a sweet old car. It's probably in the Rod Show, All too. All right, now huh? we're going to see if Doug can tell us what year that Jeep is. It, I don't know who's it, with him. It's hey, Doug. Let's see if we... What year is this Jeep, guys? What year? What year is this Jeep? 53? 1953. 53. There you go. I like go. it. And still purring like a kitten. Oh, and look at that thing. It doesn't. My truck has more scratches than that <laughs> yeah. thing. Woo. That's beautiful. Oh All right, I think here <laughs> comes gold dust. The golden halflinger. There you go. Thank yep. you. The golden halflinger mare and golden cowgirl, a true Montana treasure. Kimber is four years old and is learning to ride. Guess how old this horse is? 33 years old. Look at the four-year-old riding like a veteran. <laughs> They're very excited to be able to ride in the parade. Both display the glitter oh my gosh. and gold of gold dust. Look at that wave. Kimber, can you wave up here? That a Good girl. job, sister. She's cute. I have a feeling we're going to see her again. All right. Oh, hey, look, it's my family members. Weird, right? Uh, this is the class of 1967 being led today by Mr. John Koontz. Later this evening, they'll host classmates at the community center for a dinner that begins at 5 p.m. Now, we mentioned that the class of 77 were very old, but yeah. I think you guys beat them by about 10 years. Yep. You should have watched that one coming, But right? you know what? You look a lot better than the class of 77. Oh. All right? Oh. How's that? Now it's war. There you go. A lot better. <laughs> Oh, geez. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they don't remember the Summer of Love, but they were there. I don't know who that is. I think he's with them. All right. That one's K4. So the class of 1967 is making their way past. Now, coming up is a K4 electric. K4 Electric serves all of southwest Montana. Let K4 Electric help protect your Montana treasure. And our thanks to K4 for installing power at the Golden Sunlight Pavilion, a tremendous addition to Legion Park. So good job by a K4 Electric. We're good, thanks. Yeah, yeah Brandon is, is right a now. Whitehall native. He's been running around here, and I think he started his business, oh, what, probably four years ago now been doing a great job i mean you can tell he had to upgrade from a toyota to an actual truck that's when you can tell you're doing some business when you need a full-size pickup oh sorry All right. okay so here comes k4 electric they uh mm -hmm, look, look pretty official yeah it's better than a toyota right well it's a little bit bigger you bigger. know for those bigger jobs yep, yep. when you have to haul more stuff around yep you know yeah he's got the whole family in there looks like gage is on candy patrol I don't know where Miss Mia is. She's running around there somewhere, I'm sure. Oh, she's on the other side pitching candy out. All right, once again, thanks for uh, K4 Electric for joining us today. All right, coming up next, we have the local troop 3719 of Girl Scouts of Montana and Wyoming. This local Daisy Girl Scout troop number 3719 of the Girl Scouts, Montana and Wyoming. These girls all worked hard to complete their daisy petals and are go going to be going to be brownies in the fall. This is all new to me, guys. Troop leaders are Diana Buckner and Trish Scarborough. The girls are Oakley Buckner, Evelyn Scarborough, Cece Jacobson, Hallie Downey, Addison Goolsby, Jeanette Blaskovich. That's good. Oh, thanks. Yep. Courtney Wilson and Zoe Lyons. 
All these girls are excellent cookie sales women. So next spring, if you need some Girl Scout cookies, be sure to contact one of these kiddos. What's your uh, What's your poison with the Girl Scout cookies? Uh, the uh, mint cookies. Oh, the thin I'm, mints. I'm the mints. The mints are my favorite. Do you have any mint cookies down there? You have any cookies? Not yet. Not yet. Wait till the spring. You know where to find me in the spring. Just bring like ten boxes of those mint ones. <laughs> oh, you threw me candy. Thanks, Allie. Okay, is this Reese? Where's uh, Reese? I don't know where Reese is. We're trying to figure out that. Oh, it may be behind it. Okay, this is all the Girl Scouts here. Oh, we have more Girl Scouts. I'm not sure what we got going on here. Yeah, we're oh, see. this is a insurance company for you. We got things a little out of. Oh, okay, a insurance. Out of whack here. There you go. So this is a insurance company for you, working hard to save your money. What's up? Sorry, we got you out of order a little bit. <laughs> uh, let's see who. Oh, and then this is Volts? Oh, uh, this is Volts Cleaning Company. All right, mm -hmm. kids of many ages love to ride in this barrel train. It's great <laughs> for birthday parties, family reunions. This cute barrel train was built by Dan Volts of Volts Carpet Cleaning and Wyatt Anderson of Wyatt's Metal Works. The oh. barrel train is available for hire for your special events. Call Dan for birthday parties or any gathering with kids. And rides will be given today for kids for 3 bucks. Come to the east end of the Frontier Days activities by Full Circle for an exciting ride and a free cotton candy. Free cotton candy. Go there. All right, that's the Shriners. Sorry, all guys. All right, here we are, the Bandit Clowns. They're driving a Volkswagen Bug in a Model T Ford truck. Welcome back to Frontier Days, gang. All right. Go for it. Is this it? That's Samara. Yep. Samara Brunette and Pam Williams. There's the number 17. Samara Brunette in her 1985 Monte Carlo stock race car. Samara, Samara and Pam. Yep. They race every Friday yep. night at the Gallatin Valley Speedway. Listen to that engine. Come out next Friday to cheer Samara on. And Pam is in her number 23 right here with the American flag on it. Woo. Now, the Jefferson Valley Museum began in 1990 during Whitehall's centennial anniversary as an inspired dream of founder Roy Milligan. An old dairy barn was donated by the Brook family. And the work began. The free museum is open from Memorial Day to September the 15th from Tuesday through Sunday, 12 noon to 4 p.m. Make sure you stop by the Jefferson Valley Museum. Make sure you also check out their Facebook page as well. All right. All right. Oh, look at so this. So this is probably where everybody's going later after they get their free cotton candy. Oh, hey, there's Scooby. Remember we were talking about him oh, earlier? Oh, yeah, we were yep. talking about Scooby. So this is the Whitehall Community Pool. It's open for swim seven days a week, 1 to 530 and Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 to 8 p.m. They offer both group and private swim lessons. The pool is now selling snow cones, so stop by their booth and support the pool. <laughs> Love the little lifeguard stand. All right, American Legion Post 46 from Boulder is working with the Jefferson County Fair Board to restore the amusement park train that was in operation at the Boulder Rivers School and Hospital from 1954 to the early 80s. The train engine is a replica of the 1864 steam engine that transported President Lincoln to Gettysburg. Hmm. The restoration includes converting the train from a rail system to installing steering and road wheels so it can be used at a variety of locations. A passenger car will also be restored that will have seats for 10 to 14 people. Once restoration is complete, the train will be available to participate in events throughout the county. And we look forward to seeing you at the future Frontier Day. So donation to the fundraising efforts are greatly appreciated. Check out this old, old train engine from American Legion Post 46, a great train project. That is very cool. Huh. All right. Coming up next, we have Rick and Tara Price with their team of Mammoth Donkey. I love these guys. Seriously, I went to Mule Days, and these guys are fantastic. You should all go to Mule Days next year because they have ginormous mules and tiny, tiny ones as well. It's great. Anyhow, the Rocking t R Lazy T Drafts and Mules are from Whitehall, Montana. Rick and Tara raise mules, draft horses, and donkeys. We have Outriders of Dan and Eileen Taylor. They're also representing Montana Long Ears Association. The Montana Long Ear Association puts on Montana's largest and only mule and donkey show, Montana Mule Days. Montana Mule Days will be held in Whitehall again next year on June 8, 9, and 10. Go. And we saw we were at Mule Days this past year, and it was amazing. All right, here comes Smokey. Joining the Frontier Days Parade is the U.S. Forest Service, an organization that surely represents many of Montana's treasures. And joining us with the Whitehall Forest Service engine and Smokey the Bear. It's always great when Smokey shows up, seriously. Like, kudos to you, Smokey, because I am hot and I'm just sitting out here in a T-shirt and shorts. 
Seriously. All right, next we have Mary for mayor. She was in the class of 1972. Candidate for mayor, be sure to vote on November 7th. All right, ah. All right. coming up is the Whitehall Truck and tr uh, Towing Family, owned and operated 24 hours on call, seven days a week. For all of your towing needs, semi and trailer repair, uh, enjoy family and enjoy Frontier Days. But once again, congratulations on joining us. The Whitehall Truck and Towing Family, owned and operated, available 24 hours a day. All right, after this, we have the TSS Parade Entry, which, as many of you do know, TSS is the one who actually puts us on TV. I'm not sure if that's their best decision or maybe a sketchy <laughs> one, but here I am. You are here. <laughs> uh, Telesystem Services, otherwise known as TSS, is pleased to announce that Whitehall is now a gigabit community. A gigabit community is a term coined by Google where a gigabit of Internet can be delivered by fiber optic cable to selected homes and businesses within a community. TSS has recently buried fiber lines down 1st Street from D Street to Whitehall Avenue. A number of homes are now connected, and Internet speeds of over 800 MBs, megabytes, I guess, yeah. That's close enough. They were pretty close. Sorry, Jason. Have been demonstrated at the homeowner's property. The orange reel on the trailer contains, a, contains the fiber duct that is buried from the street to the house. A fiber optic cable is then installed in the duct all the way back to the fiber head at the old end at the old cheese factory. Oh, wow. Building. From there, the signal goes by fiber all the way to Helena, where it joins the transcontinental fiber system. TSS is hoping to install fiber on additional streets in Whitehall and also to develop a method to extend gigabit services to the rural areas surrounding Whitehall. All right, now we uh, can take a breath, have a little as we're nearing the end of the parade, believe it or not. But coming up is uh, Clearwater, Montana Properties. The agent is uh, Camry Smith. Uh, her number, her cell phone, 880-3003 for all of your real estate needs. And this looks like a 1969 GMC pickup pulling the trailer. And that is a 69 GMC pickup. Must get great gas mileage. Or Brandon, maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. But yeah. Brandon and Dylan look like they're having fun. Hey, Dill, can you wave? There you go. Thanks, bud. All right, after them, I believe we have Jerry and Candace Anderson riding on horseback. Do you see them? I do see them. Oh, okay, they are here. Good. There, there's somebody on horseback. Yeah. We'll see if it's Jerry in a second here. Dun, 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 dun. Yep, now yep. we're ad-libbing. Wait, oh, we, we totally gone into ad-lib zone because I can't see. We there do have two people on horseback. Yep, that would definitely be Jerry and Candace. Taking a little stroll down. What is this, Legion this morning? This is Legion. This is Legion. Oh, look at the feet on that horse. Oh, and look at Woo. what look at what we have here. We have, uh, it's a hot day, and I think they're going to make sure that uh, some of the youngsters <laughs> cool off. Somebody's got to do it. There we go. There we <laughs> are. Good stuff there. And then to end up our parade is, it looks like the remainder of, of the Whitehall Community Volunteer Fire Department. Yep. And that's going to close out the parade for us this year. But as the firefighters all go by, please everybody give them a hand for everything they do for our, our community and our county to make sure that we are all safe and protected. And what's kind of cool about this is we started off the parade with the Grand Marshal, the Whitehall Volunteer Fire Department, and we will end the parade with the Whitehall Volunteer Fire Department. And it's a great way to close out the 2017 Frontier Days Parade. Well, Oh, it looks like we are going to actually be actually be broadcasting some of the Bronx and Barrels tonight. So make sure that if you can't make it out to that event, you do tune in um, to watch some of the action go down so you can have all the fun and still the air conditioning of your house. It really looks like the fire department is taking cooling off to the next level oh, now. Oh, yeah. As long, as long as they keep that water away from all this expensive equipment, we're, we're going to be in good shape. Yeah, the expensive equipment sitting right here oh, in this chair. Oh, yeah, some youngsters are going to get <laughs> – oh, here we go. Oh, I don't think it's just the youngsters today. No. Jeremy, what are you cooking up? Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hamburgers. Oh, is that part of the raffle? You can buy. Oh, that's right. They've got the raffle. Pancakes are gone. Yeah, hey, everybody, make sure you get down and get your tickets, which I still have to buy mine, 
for the raffle. Grand prize, I believe, is the Traeger, and they do have some second, third prizes. They always have great stuff down there. So get down, support your volunteer fire department, and maybe win a sweet barbecue. And, and, and we've got to emphasize that as of all volunteer organizations, the Whitehall Volunteer Fire Department needs your help. The more volunteers that are in the community, the greater the coverage that is offered. So volunteers to give, there we go. Volunteers <laughs> to give 30 hours per year for 10 years are invested in a retirement with the state of Montana. So please, if you have the time and just the desire, volunteer with your Whitehall Volunteer Fire Department. Fantastic. If I do say so myself, yes. we are a small community, but we have some nice looking equipment. The equipment looks awesome. And I think it might be all scrubbed up. I think they were scrubbing last night. And not only in, in, here in Whitehall, throughout Jefferson County, they have great fire departments, and they're all volunteers. So mm -hmm. it's really important to support your volunteer fire department. And here comes the last entrant in the parade <laughs> of the 2017 Montana's Treasures Frontier Days Parade, closing out with the Whitehall Volunteer Fire Department. That truck made it all the way down and wanted to go through the parade twice. That did. That's, <laughs> that's right. That's how it started. Very tricky move, guys. All right. Well, that closes out the 2017 Whitehall Frontier Days Parade. We thank you all for uh, tuning in on your TV or sitting street side and listening to us and watching the parade go by and collecting candy. Please remember all the events that we have going on in town today and this evening and uh, check everything out. And I'm Bruce Binkowski, events coordinator for Jefferson County with my sidekick, Jody Cargill, who really does a great job. So I want to thank all of you for watching and participating in the Frontier Days Parade. Thanks, guys.